But we didn't expect, I don't know, it must have been hundreds of policemen, right? It's just, it's heartbreaking, but it's empowering because, you know, our people stood up for it and we're not backing down. Let our kupuna stay on our shoulders as we hold on mua kanaka. Imua! Imua! Imua kila! We don't even get this kind of protection for our community. You know, um, lobbying legislature to provide more funds for dual care officers so they can take care of our natural resources. We don't get that. We've had to police our own shorelines for the overfishing and the illegal fishing happening there. And so for me, to see all these resources being poured into a project like this that's supposed to be for our community, I don't think that's important. No. We get so much different things we need to cool with and this just shows to me and I always have hope in people, I do. And I still have hope for our, our mayor that, and our governor that they will do what is right. There were those who opposed the project um, showed up and we respect everyone's right to express their First Amendment rights. You and the media know how that important is. It is the First Amendment because it's the most important. And as mayor and I know our administration, we support that right. This is not about us. This is about us doing something to create the impact for the future. I believe, you know, once they see all of this, it's going to be Oahu's Mauna Kea. People are going to keep on showing up. We're not going anywhere. It's not done until, like, we know it's squashed. Like, knowing it will be squashed, I mean, like, everything. As mayor, I listen to all voices, not just the loudest voice but all voices, including the most quiet. And so while I say we will stop at phase one for now and let the community decide, and I talked to the entire community how they want to go out with the rest, there are folks that you don't hear from. They may not be out there on the road, but want to see this project completed and have put a lot of time and effort into it. And I want to thank those men and women, many of them kupuna, for their care for this community too. And they need to be treated with respect. At this point, I can't really speak for the mayor as to why he felt that was so important to do it that way today, but I think definitely it could have been and should be handled better as we move forward. I think that um, we definitely have to maintain a sense of order in our city. At the same time, we definitely need to make sure that elected officials are doing all they can to move through all the steps and the process of doing um, projects in the community in a way that the people feel validated and they feel like their concerns will be heard so we don't end up in this type of situation.